our channel. Today we are going Easter basket shopping. If you're new to my channel, I have five kids that we are shopping for. Technically, Tommy doesn't need an Easter basket, but with older kids, I don't want them to be like, why didn't the Easter Bunny bring Tommy a basket? You know what I mean? So he's just gonna get like a super simple basket, but we are shopping for five kids, ages eight, six, four, two, three, not two, Charlie just turned three, three, and I usually keep the Easter baskets like a spring theme. With so many kids now, like we usually like to put like chalk and that type of stuff. With so many kids now, like that chalk, we're just gonna get like a big bucket of chalk and it's gonna be for all of them um, instead of like chalk in each basket, you know what I mean? Um, and so, yeah, there's going to be some shared Easter gifts and then just like their individual. Maya's Easter basket, I have a pretty good idea on what I wanna get her. She is eight, she's coming into that age where she is very girly, she loves her makeup, she loves everything girly so her basket is pretty easy the boys on the other hand four boys I am kind of struggling on what to get because I don't want to buy multiple of things but I also know they're all gonna share it so um, I'm still trying to figure out what to get them also try not to make Easter all about gifts we know what Easter is about and we do celebrate the real reason for Easter not just like the Easter Bunny do not go all out on Easter baskets we buy the cheapest basket because they just get thrown away they are ready and we are going to feed Tommy before we go and then we are going to head, I'm still trying to debate because I wanna to go to Target because the things that I wanna get Maya are at Target, but then I know Walmart has a really good selection of stuff for Easter, um, but then I need to go to the Dollar Tree. So I think we're gonna to go to Target first. We're gonna feed Tommy and then we're gonna get going. We don't usually go too crazy with Easter baskets, but this year was definitely a little bit more difficult. Maya's Easter basket was super simple to put together, but the boys' Easter basket was definitely a challenge. I wanted to start in the dollar section before I shopped around just to see if they had any Easter or spring related stuff. And unfortunately, my dollar spot wasn't the greatest i get so jealous of seeing everybody else's dollar section because our dollar spot is really lacking i almost said dollar store i really wanted to go to the dollar store but i didn't have time i did find some cute little peeps bath bombs and so i picked up a couple of those and how cute are these little ducky and frog soaps i feel like that would be a great Easter basket stuffer um, and so yeah I didn't find too much also stony clover I've never heard of them but it is such a cute brand not for me personally but for Maya absolutely and she's been wanting a tumbler like a big water bottle and so I picked one up for her also I've heard a lot that stony clover is being sold out at targets everywhere I don't know if it's just because my target is smaller in a small town and like they were fully stocked but um yeah let me know if stony clover is sold out at your target i was in charge of maya and tommy's basket and gage was in charge of noah weston and charles basket it was definitely a lot harder like i said for the boys because they are just at that age where they all pretty much want the same thing and i don't want to buy multiple of the same item but that kind of happened that way. I then had to go to Walmart and Target a different day just to get the Easter candy and um, I needed to get baskets. I did not want to get the candy from Target because it is just a little bit more pricier and I needed to get the baskets on a different day. So I am going to show you what each kid is getting and then I'm going to be putting the baskets together. I did also get my husband a little Easter basket, so stay tuned for later in this vlog to see what I got him. We are gonna start with Tommy's Easter basket first. Technically, he's only six weeks old. He does not need an Easter basket, but we do have older kids and they would wonder why the Easter Bunny did not bring him anything. So um, I did not get Maya and Tommy the same baskets as I did the boys. And that is because Target did not have the best selection. So I had to kind of figure something out. Um, but Tommy is getting just this like felt 
crinkle book. He is getting some baby soap, a teether, two teethers, um, and one was on clearance. You guys know I love my deals and I love my sales, so happy about that one. on to Maya and I'm gonna be honest she did get a little bit more and that is okay she is our only girl and this house is overrun by boys so it is okay that she got a little bit more her basket is from the dollar spot um, I kind of want to go back and get this for underneath my sink it was only five dollars um, but yeah, I think she could use this basket in her room. All the kids are getting kites. So she is getting an LOL kite. She is also getting three lip smackers lip gloss. She's also getting two Peeps bath bombs, pink and a purple, a Peeps like Play-Doh, a face mask, some nail art, sunglasses. She is also getting some candy, some bracelets, the Stony Clover tumbler. I'm really excited for her to get. She's been begging for a new water bottle tumbler. And then I found this like rainbow, paint your own rainbow um, decor in the dollar spot. And I think she'll really like that. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening. New boys, same tricks. Forgot to show you she is also getting this little lol cup it has candy in it and that cup will be perfect for the sandbox outside this is actually a shared gift for all of the kids it is just this giant box of Crayola sidewalk chalk and then I got the basket on clearance for four dollars and fifty cents and it's just gonna store all of the chalk so it's just easy to get to we are then moving on to Charlie's basket and he got some baby shark bubbles. Um, all the kids got something bath related, but Charlie does not like bath bombs. So he got a bath book, a glow in the dark poppet, a Jurassic Park kite, and the Blue's Clues cup with candy, Starburst jelly beans, and then his Easter chocolate. The boys are also getting a huge water gun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. Uh, we, we only got one chance and got one life to live. And it's do or die, gotta make it count, so lose your world. gonna move on to Weston's Easter basket and the boys baskets are all pretty much the same they're getting a water gun a bubble bucket Weston is actually getting this my first baseball glove he is also getting his chocolates he has a peeps bath bomb and then he has his Paw Patrol cup his gum which my kids never have gum so that's like a huge treat for them and then his Paw Patrol kite Noah same thing um, blue water gun, his candy, he also has a Peeps bath bomb. My kids love bath bombs, except for Charles. Charles does not like bath bombs, but all my other kids do. Um, the only thing different in Noah's basket is each of the kids got something that they really enjoy. So Noah is getting a Fortnite gift card and then he has his Spider-Man kite. So that is what is in the boys' Easter basket. I now need to figure out where to hide all five of these baskets and then how to get all of these baskets 
in the car and up to the cabin without the kids seeing. So that will be pretty interesting. But like I said earlier in this video, I did get my husband a little Easter basket. But before we got to my husband's Easter basket, we took a little snack break and Charlie had a pouch and I just had one of these Alani um, like caffeine drinks. It's honestly not my favorite, but it's all I had. Um, the basket I used for my husband is just some basket, little basket from Target. I am going to be putting some sunscreen in there. My husband works outside and you need sunscreen when you're working outside 12 hour days. Um, some of his favorite candy, some gum, and a Subway gift card. I also got him one of these, I don't even know what they're called, stainless steel mugs. Um, he saw one that I have and he really wanted one of his own for his like mixed drinks, coffees, whatever he wants to use it for. So um, that is what I got him for his Easter basket. <laughs> That is actually going to be the end of this video. Tommy is currently waking up, but I am curious. What are you guys getting your kiddos for Easter if you celebrate? I have been seeing some super cool baskets. Um, you guys are so creative. People are so creative, and I feel like my baskets are just so simple. So let me know down below what you are getting. Let me know if you and your spouse exchange like Easter baskets. Um, but yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Also subscribe if you are not already and we will talk to you in our next video.